Hi everyone, I hope everyone is doing well this summer. Well, we're about midway through summer, or July, middle of July, so we have a couple more months of the heat. Uh, we've had a lot of rain this year, uh, almost three months of uh, pretty steady rain, and then really hot, humid weather. So it has, it's a perfect storm uh, to set up for fungicide and disease in many, many plants, not just peonies, but other plants also. But uh, the video is going to show the first year cutting garden, and I'm just going to tell you right now, it looks like hell. Uh, I walked out there, I've been trying to keep the weeds down, and just in the last two weeks, it's just, they've just gotten out of control, which is normal. So, for me anyway. Um, so look over the video, uh, it's kind of scary looking, but I did dig up a root, uh, so you can see exactly what it looks like, um, underneath, and, um, that way you can make your own choice. And then I did add my six year peony garden in there also. What I wanted you to see is actually how beautiful they really are. These are all the, the uh, my six year, seven, they'll be seven years old next year. So they're absolutely amazing. Um, the foliage is perfect on them. They're growing. I checked the roots. I'll show you that in the video also at the end. Um, if you have time, you can look through it. But um, that way you can kind of make your own choice on if your peony plants, you think they look bad, they're dead. Uh, just, just wait and see. You might want to cut off the foliage if it really looks uh, uh, fungus. Uh, if it looks like it's got a disease, you might want to just cut the foliage off and just uh, wait until next spring. Um, that's what I'm going to do. I've really seen some bad things before. Um, that's why I went ahead and dug up that root so you could see what it looks like underneath. So it wasn't perfect, but um, it would have survived and I would have continued to treat it with uh, the cease that I was using before. So, so I started the video out with some of the lavender uh, that I purchased about a month ago and I'll be putting that out in the first year cutting garden. It just helps kind of keep uh, some of the bad insects out and it's beautiful. Um, so that bare root that I, I dug up, I did not throw it away. I planted it in the above ground boxes. I couldn't help it. Um, it wasn't um, diseased or anything. So we'll see if it grows. Uh, I put it in the corner of the above ground box. I marked it and uh, let's see what happens. Um, I will be back on for another update probably in about a month and these plants will change drastically again with the heat and um, we'll kind of just uh, keep going with it and I will, I will see y'all in about a month or so. Have a great uh, rest of your summer. Bye. Lavender that came in, oh, about a month and a half ago. I have repotted many of them. And this above ground box just looks pitiful. Um, I don't know. Again, uh, I believe the compost was just not cured and it has burnt a lot of my, um, a lot of my plants up. And um, these lavender will go out. I've got to repot the other ones, but this lavender will go out into the the first year peony cutting garden. Um, well, this is the cutting garden, the first year peony cutting garden. Um, and I'm looking straight down the center here. These were the coral charm. And um, I believe that these cool charm, um, I won't completely give up on these. Um, I have seen some really uh, amazing things, but I'm not sure what happened with, and it's just the coral charm. It's just this row. Um, some of these did not even get cut. Uh, some of the blooms were just left on them. Some of them were just nipped off at the very, very top. Um, so it's not because of cutting or anything like that. Um, I did treat these with cease, if you remember in the videos before. But these definitely did have um, a fungus. So what I'm going to do today is I will come in here, since they're so far gone, and I will cut this old foliage off, this very diseased foliage. And I will dispose of it. Um, I don't want it to get to the other plants. And there were a couple that we treated. And um, like this one got really, really bad also. So I will come in here. And um, also any of the plants that look like they're not going to make it. <clears throat> there's no reason to just let them be. And allow the, 
any of the, the fungus spores to uh, continue to spread. So um, I probably have about 10 out here that look really poor uh, along with the coral charm. So um, I will just cut the foliage off and uh, dispose of it. And whatever doesn't make it, I will just um, keep those holes open. More than likely, that's where I will put my lavender is in the uh, in the uh, the area where the peonies did not look like they made it. Um, most of them look good. Um, of course, you can't see much because of the grass. But uh, like over here, they look really pretty good. I mean, there is there is a little black spot on them but uh, nothing to, uh, that I haven't seen before. So, this was a tough year. Um, a lot of rain, a lot of rain, uh, then came the 110 degree heat. So, uh, it was a tough year, but anyway. Um, my lavender looks great, and that's why I'm going to add more lavender out here also. Looks really pretty. The, the heavy grass that you see growing, um, like this one here, there's, it's, uh, it was, I put straw down. Um, but I know it looks disastrous, but I've done this for many years, and here in Oklahoma, it gets so brutally hot that any type of grass that does grow like that, not not the weeds, like these here, I like to try to pull up. And I have, I have been diligent about pulling these up. Um, and, uh, but actually having this thick grass in here like this actually protects these peony plants. Um, that's what I have found. Not that it's a great thing. I wish I didn't have it but I do. It is grass. Um, so you'll think that your peony plants have disappeared. They're gone. They've been engulfed with the grasses, but the grass dies in the winter. It does not come back until late, late spring, early summer. So um, it actually, in my case, helps protect my peony plants. Okay, so what I did, I wanted to go ahead and pull one of the the coral charms. I wanted to pull one of those out of the ground, which I did right here. It's the first one. And uh, give you a first bird's eye view look of what that uh, root looked like. So here's here's a piece of it. And if you'll notice, there are eyes on it. There's one, two, three, four. There was four eyes on this little tuber here. <clears throat> and the bigger part of the tuber, it had roots on it, not real good. Um, it still does not look real healthy. There's an eye right there. And then an eye right here. And an eye right there. So. This one had some eyes on it, and the tuber is not rotten in any shape, form. There is, that's where it broke off right there. It's, that's not a fungus. So I do not see any mold. I don't see an unhealthy tuber. I just see these old stalks getting fungus on the outside. So I just wanted to let you know that sometimes your foliage can look really, really bad but I will not pull up any more of these tubers. I will come out here <clears throat> and I will cut down, uh, cut off the foliage uh, that looks fungicide. Again, I'm in Southern Oklahoma, grow zone 7B, and our weather here, again, it is July, I believe 11th today, and you can see all the, all the water on the, uh, the grass, and that is from rain, and it will reach about 92 to 93 degrees today. Um, and then get hotter come this week. So this ground, this moist ground, will radiate more humidity and it will cause um, havoc on the foliage. The moisture is actually helping the ground stay um, viable where, 
where it will grow, continue to grow roots. But I wanted you to see that. So this one here had four new eyes, which is normal. It was gonna be a two year plant. And this one had three. So this tuber was quite large. Um, and it was gonna have seven eyes. I, I possibly could have gotten seven blooms next year. So I will take this old foliage and these roots and I will, I will just dispose of this one because um, I pulled it out and I, uh, it's, it's just uh, the foliage looks so bad, but I have so many. I'll replace it. I'll put another coral charm in here next year, but, but the root is fine. The ground is fine. Um, if I can find this hole next year. Cover that back up. But anyway, I just wanted to show y'all what that looked like coming uh, straight out of the ground right now in July, July um, 11th. So if your plants are looking really bad, um, I pulled this one out and you can see that it it's fine. Uh, it's not great. It's not real super healthy like you want it, but uh, it is the middle of summer and um, it's it's a tough part of the year. So this one would have been fine. I could have just come in here and cut off the, the bad foliage and uh, and got some blooms next spring. And here are my, actually these will be seven, uh, seven year old peony plants this next season. So they're just growing and looking absolutely spectacular. Uh, the foliage is unbelievable. Look at that, it's just, lush green healthy um over here they look just this is my uh shirley temple these are all um sarah bernhardt's and i do have a few uh weeds in here that i need to come in and um it just rained last night so pretty heavy rain but uh they all look really good i'm so excited for next year all the new all the new growth under here green very nice the stems look really pretty um, i am seeing some new growth i'm going to have to get under here and um cut back the the landscape fabric because they are trying to um uh start new um eyes